I want you all to be alert. I am concerned about matters in St. Nicholas School. Father Flynn, he called Donald Miller to the rectory. What did you hear? What did you see that convinced you so thoroughly? Doubt can be a bond as powerful as certainty. Let's talk a little bit about what prompted you to write the play, what you saw going on in popular culture that made you feel that this was a story worth telling and how in the passing years that might have made the film more topical still. I had had these Sisters of Charity that had these peculiar bonnets and uh, that uh, most people didn't have this particular order of nuns, it was a teaching order, uh, in this little Bronx uh, uh, school. And um, I thought, yeah, I should write about that sometime, but I thought, nah, that's just, you know, sociology. Uh, and so I wouldn't do that. And then uh, what happened was first I, I, uh, I was in rehearsal with a play and I was on a break and I was sitting looking at the empty stage and I said to the actor who was sitting next to me, I think I want to write a play called Doubt. And he said, what's it about? And I said, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> then I remembered those nuns, and I thought, oh, it'll be about the nuns. It'll be about the nuns. And I thought, that's nothing. Uh, and then I thought, oh, the, the, there must have been a nun who suspected a priest. You know, the, all these priests that rogue priests were moved from parish to parish. So I thought, oh, there must have been a nun who agitated to get a priest down. And that's interesting because the priests were over the nuns. It was a you know, chain of command like in the military. Then I thought of the black mother came to me one day and I thought, that's a play. That's a play. I would do that. Obviously on stage you can't sh show the neighborhood, which is a primary character in the film, it's the neighborhood where you grew up. Yeah. Um, how important was it in getting in those locations and also establishing the, you know, the front street versus the back street? Well, you know, when I was a kid, I witnessed all these things, as we all do. But you don't necessarily uh, have any interpretation. You just have information. You have a lot of information that you accrue. Uh, and uh, certainly one of the kinds of information that I accrued when I was a kid was I had this sense of people walking out of these apartment buildings and out of these houses and going to church and a feeling of, of uh, uh, shared morality uh, and uh, certainty of uh, stability in the world. And then uh, out in back of these same apartment buildings were these German expressionistic alleys. And so I sort of felt like the back, that's the back side. That's what's going on behind the facade of things, and that's where the title appears, Doubt, because that's what that is to me. Out the front is certainty, out back is doubt. So I hired my first grade school teacher, sister, who was Sister James, uh, when I was a kid. She was 21, I was in her first class, I was six years old. Uh, and I, uh, when I did the play, I, I had assumed that Sister James was dead, because I'd been six years old, and I assumed she was a grown-up that she was dead. Uh, and uh, then to, I got this email from this woman saying, oh, I just talked to Sister James and she heard you're doing a play and that she's in it, she's very excited and she's coming tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> I introduced myself to her and we sat and we watched uh, the, the play, the lights went down and the designer had gone to the Bronx and, and taken pictures of this place and recreated it uh, uh, with the photographic veracity on stage. And so when the lights came up, me and this woman who had not seen each other in the intervening 48 years looked through this window of artifice into the past. And if you've ever done this, which I'm sure not many of you have, but maybe some of you have, it is one of the most eerie and beautiful experiences that I've ever had. We have to run, unfortunately. So thank you, John, for coming, and thank you for sticking around. <laughs>